Good morning. God bless you this morning and God keep this morning. Thank you for tuning on me once again. Praise God as always. I just hope you just gave God the praise and glory. You ain't got to wait on Sunday. It ain't got to be on Sunday to give God the praise and the glory. It can be uh, any day. You know, ain't no certain day you can thank God and give him praise and glory. There ain't no certain day that you know you want money neither. Ain't no certain day that you want to be blessed neither. You want to be blessed all the time. I know you want money all the time. Just wake up every morning. Just thank God for waking you up every morning. Just, just act like it's money. Yeah, I, I got money. I thank God for this money. You know, thank God when you don't have no money. Thank God, you know, we don't have them things, material things. Thank God anyhow. Glory be to God. Some people just wait and thank God when they receive something. They want to thank God. Oh, God's soul is good when they get something. Them men don't have nothing. They don't want to thank God. Oh, no. I got to thank God all the time, even if it misses and I don't have it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But anyway, I'm going to read out of uh, their first Thessalonian. First Thessalonian, um, uh, chapter 1. Matter of fact, I'm going to read, uh, chapter, um, uh, 3. Fine, uh, I'm going to read about finally we could stand. You know, finally we can stand. No, matter of fact, let me, let me back up a little bit one more time. I'm, I'm going to read about first the, the faith of Thessalonians believer. The faith of the Thessalonian believer. I don't know if I shared it with you back in the past, but I'm, I'm going to share it and read it again. It says in uh, first, uh Thessalonians chapter 1, I'm going to go down to first, uh, verse 2. It says, we always thank God for all of you and pray for you constantly as we pray to our God and Father about you. We think of your faithful work, your loving deed, and the enduring hope you have because of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's also in the book of Romans chapter uh, 1 and verse 8. Next verse says, we know, dear brothers and sisters, that God loves you and has chosen you to be his own people. For when we bought you the good news, it was not only with words, but also with power. For the Holy Spirit gave you full assurance that what we said was true. And you know of our concern for you from the way we lived when we were with you. So you receive the message with joy from the Holy Spirit. In spite of the suffering, suffering, suffering it brought you. In this way, you uh, imi imitate both us and the. It says both us, both us and the Lord. As a result, you have become an example to all the believers in Greece, throughout both Macedonia and Achaia. And now. The word of the Lord is ringing out from you to people wherever, even beyond Macedonia. For whatever we go and find people telling us about your faith in God, we don't need to tell them about it. For they keep talking about the wonderful welcome you gave us and how you turned away from idols to serve the living and true God. And they speak. Of how you are looking forward to the coming of God's Son from heaven, Jesus, who gave raised, who gave raised from you know who gave raised from the dead. He is the one who has rescued us from the terror of the coming judgment, and that's also in the book of uh, Acts chapter two and verse twenty-four. I'm gonna read uh, Acts chapter two and verse twenty-four. Uh, right quick, it says uh, in verse 24, it says, But God released him from the horror of death and raised him back to life. For death could not keep him in his grip. King David said this about him. I see that the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken for he is right aside, you know, right beside me. You know, you will not be shaken because you know God is right beside him. And that's also in the book of John chapter 48. John chapter 4 verse 48, I mean. It says, um, I'm going down to 26. I, I, I just kept on reading. It says in verse 26, No wonder my heart is glad and my tongue shout. His praise is my body rest in hope. 
for you will not leave our soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You have shown me the way of life and you will find, it said, you will fill me with joy of your presence. And that's also the book of Psalm 16 and verse 8 through 11. Praise God, I fill you with joy. You know, you can be all sad and be all out of joy, be all out of happiness. God will fill you with joy. Not with things you come up with. And you get the results of the blessing. He will fill you with joy. You can have joy without even having these material things. I know I had, I had joy without even having these things. Because I know my God, you know, nothing don't last forever anyway. But at the same time, you don't worship the thing that you receive neither you don't put them things before God neither you're supposed to be worshiping thanking God and have this joy even before the results of the blessing even happen carry that joy in you anyhow you know that way you will know how to still have joy you know and have your peace and happiness when the things of the things you know when the results of the blessing come such as money call house whatever you know sometimes you know that's just the result of the blessing God wants you to have these things anyway you know so and just the results of the thing you may be asking for or wanting things and everything, but with your joy, joy, I mean, joy is just like, it's just, besides coming in the morning, I say, besides coming in the morning, I can have joy the midday, the midnight, the, uh, 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 whatever hour it is. You know, ain't just got to wait in the morning, but sometimes that joy can be before the morning. You know, I was, you know, hear people say, well, joy will come in the morning. You know, sometimes joy will be here before the morning. <laughs> you know? Sometimes you be like, wow, why, why I got to work for the morning? I need some joy now. I need some peace now. I need this now. You know, I got to work for the morning to get it. Yeah, they like, joy comes in the morning. But the joy can come any time. Joy can come any day. You know, God can fulfill your spirit, you know, any time. Any day. Ain't no certain time. Ain't no, it's not even no certain day, you know. It may be the best time in the morning, but it could be a best time any day. It's like it's not just a certain time to praise God. Just in the morning time, you can praise God any day. It's not a certain time to pray. Just in the morning, you can pray any day, any hour, any time. You know, praise God, somebody. Amen. I just wanted to share that with you. God bless you. And thank you for tuning on me once again. And, um... You know, tell somebody about D44. It could be a word for them. You know, man, sometimes it might always be a word for you, but it could be a word for somebody else. Amen. And the Father, pray for the Lord is watching. God bless you and God keep you. I pray that Lord is God is angels around you and check you going and going out. I pray you will be blessed by the word. I pray you meditate on the day and night and get in the word and do the will of God for your life. Not just hear it, being hearers and listening, but obey and do what God wants you to do. And I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you would stay in faith, stay in good courage. And I pray, Lord, to give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Whatever you understand, I pray, Lord, to uh, give you understanding and help you all the way in Jesus' name. And I would just pray, you know, for the one that's sick and not feeling good. And I pray, Lord, to heal and touch the one that's not feeling good, heal the healers that's, uh, that's, that's, that's trying to heal. They think they can do it on their own. If they can't do it on their own, I just pray, Lord, you just send your helper. And send your uh, uh, your leaders and, and and good teachers and somebody that's not even not even scared of prayer and not even scared to bring a Bible no matter where it is or where they are. Lord, I just pray you would just make a way out of nowhere for the uh, for you to send the best in these people, whether they woman, man, boy, girl. Lord Jesus, I pray you just keep your I just pray they keep your praises on, keep the prayers and keep the uh, the, the, the school and the Bible and school and then not take it out and not taking the word out. I just pray they stay in their heart and their mind and their soul in Jesus' name. I pray they stay in the Word and do the will of God for their life. Knowing what you said about what they said and what they think. Knowing what I just pray that I just, I just hoping that they, they, just, they just meditate and know what you said and not what the world said. Focus on what you said, your law, your way, Lord. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you know, the one that's sick and shut in, Lord. I just pray you send the one that, uh, send your angels. Bless them, cover them in Jesus' name. Cover them with your blood. If it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, I wouldn't know where I'd be, Lord. If it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, they wouldn't even be healed. They wouldn't even know who they are. Lord, I depend in my name of Jesus. Bless the ones that are, you know, and that's seeking you right now. God bless the ones that's not seeking you, Lord. I pray they will seek you someday in Jesus' name. I pray you give them understanding and wisdom and knowledge. 
in Jesus' name. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And God keep you all, Lord. I pray y'all walk by faith and not by sight in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Call them things to be not for those they were in Jesus' name. And it will come to your presence. It will happen. It will, it will, it will manifest in your life. And I pray that the victories and the glories and, and God's grace and God's mercy will touch you right now. And God's healing will heal you right now, wherever you're sick, wherever you're hurt, wherever you're pain in Jesus' name. And I pray that my name is Jesus, you will, you will receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God bless you today and God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So until next time, remember God love you. And, and you know, and so do I. You know, you just stay up and do your do. Don't you know, let the devil in here see your joy. The devil always trying to see your joy, and your peace, trying to get all this, you know, and all this confusion around you and trying to get you all involved with day mess. You know, but you have to reboot that. And then Jesus' name, tell the devil, get up on your feet. I ain't trying to have it. I ain't going to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Talk to the hand, talk to the feet, talk to the back, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to hear that nonsense. You know, I'm trying to keep my joy. I'm trying to stand peace with Jesus. Because Jesus already knows what's best for me. And I'm going to stay on the main line. I'm going to stay on his line. I'm going to stay what he said about it and knows about me. And give me direction, you know, and where to go and what to do and what to say. And, you know, sometimes you have to uh, control your tongue sometimes, you know. But you won't get nothing out of all that. Make somebody mad. You know, some people may not can't take it because they're not happy. They haven't grew up in maturity yet. That's why they get mad so easy. They haven't grew up yet in maturity. Like whatever you say to somebody, they get mad, they snap. They haven't grew up yet in maturity. Because sometimes you just have to watch this. Don't even say nothing to that person, especially when you know how they are. Just keep it to yourself. Take it to the Lord. Lord, this helps me. You know, help me keep my tongue part sometimes. You know, control your tongue and watch what you say. Hallelujah, somebody. So anyway, God bless you. God keep you. Remember, God love you. So do I. You take care and have a wonderful blessing week and don't let the devil in hell see your joy this week or no week in jesus name stay up do your dues and don't worry about the don't see you later next time god say the same